Guys, it is a crispy New Year's Day in the upper 20s. Uh, I have let my machine warm up and I've come over here to this area that I've been working on uh, over all the last fall. And I wanna get uh, something taken care of. Today's a perfect day. I could be in a cab, it's nice and warm in there. And basically I'm just gonna dig a big deep hole and I've gotta bury a bunch of stuff I wanna get rid of. Uh, one of the biggest things is, is we have got a pile over here of all just busted up concrete and I've got no use for it, no place to put it. So we're gonna bury it and just get it out of sight. So I'm gonna come over here and get positioned. And one of the things I'm doing is this area back here in the back uh, of this, where this hill goes up. It's very low compared to the creek and the water will not drain out of here. Uh, I've cut a drainage ditch and that is helping tremendously. But what I'm fixing to do is actually going to do two things for me. Besides getting rid of all of that uh, debris, I am going to be able to, when I go cover the hole, I'm going to be displacing quite a bit of uh, dirt and I'm actually going to serve to raise this area up some. So what I want to do is I want to find an area between all these trees that I'll kind of minimize how many roots I'm going to get into, which I think is going to be about right in here, I do believe. So now, it's just time to start digging. Let's see what we can do here. using my 24 inch bucket, tooth bucket. As you guys saw in the beginning part of the video, I just had to change up. I had the straight edge bucket on it and I knew it would be cut down into the dirt like this. I would definitely need to take advantage of the tooth bucket. So, and it's working great. The dirt is in actually perfect condition. I thought it'd be a little more money over here. We've been getting a bunch of rain. So uh, anyway, this is working out fantastic so far. Hope you guys had a great holiday through the Christmas. As you can see, I haven't been posting many videos. We were the times I, I have enjoyed a bunch of time off. And during my off time, uh, we were doing a lot of stuff with the family. And I was also working in my basement. And I was not able, I actually finished up everything on my man cave project. I would really have loved to share that with you guys, but as you guys know, if you pulled anything with these GoPros, they have horrible low light image quality. They just, they do really bad. So anyway, I was not able to get any video of me working in the basement. I've done a couple of videos when I was starting that project, but it, uh, the, the image, the, it's just, it was not good, it was not good product. So I just ended up not doing any more with it. Anyway, we uh, enjoy family time, and now I've got uh, a couple of more days off before I've got to go back hard at it on the job. So I wanted to take advantage of this. I enjoy working outside, obviously, and this is one of the biggest reasons why I purchased uh, an excavator with a cab on it. Is even though it is freezing cold outside, uh, I'm able to sit in here. It's nice and toasty and warm. In fact, here in a minute, I'm gonna be shedding my jacket and just keep working to dig this hole. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a cab tractor. So at one point when I get this hole dug, I'll have to go get the tractor to uh, move that pile of concrete and I'll be out in the cold for that. But it'll be all right. Back 
pick this bad boy back up. I'm headed up for four. Okay guys, I wanted to show you the final, well, almost final uh, phase of this project that I'm working on today. Um, the ground is still pretty wet and the dirt is clunky and it's really hard to get it to flare out uh, and to be able to spread it evenly. But I'll swing the camera around and show you. Um, I was definitely able to get uh, all of that uh, filled in, that hole pretty much completely filled in. So that great big pile of dirt I had, I was able to use that as topping off the hole as well as uh, filling. And you can see I probably raised the height of this about, I don't know, six or eight inches. And that's crucial because back here, this uh, is so low. When we get all the rains, the water just sends, uh, tends to just sit back here and it'll pile up, I don't know, uh, a foot deep in some spots. So the whole mission back here is to get all of this to where the water will drain. So it, some areas I'm dropping down, some areas I'm trying to raise up and to slowly get a, a drape to where I can get the water out of here. What happens, the reason this is a problem, obviously you don't want setting water. Uh, we always have wet springs as well. Um, and so when you start getting the warmer temperatures, then it starts getting mosquito-y. So that's the whole reason for getting uh, this fixed and getting to where the water will drain. 
Well, anyway, guys, uh, once again, finishes up another short, uh, another nice project. Um, I'll be back in the spring once this dries up and I'll come in and, and finish working this out and feathering it up the hill and getting the grade set better. But for right now, I left this a little bit high where the uh, dirt pile, where the hole was. There'll be some settling here over the rest of the winter and uh, we will uh, come back uh, when warmer temperatures uh, and drier soil and we'll get all this fixed up really beautiful. Anyway, guys, remember here at Project Next One, there's always one more. So uh, definitely uh, be on the lookout for another one. More projects in the pipeline coming. For now, you guys take care, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.